Today, we are going to have a very quick look at assigning multiple materials to an assembly within NAS Training CAD. So in this assembly, we have two components, a mild steel component and an aluminium component. By default, they're both going to assign the generic material, which we're going to override in NAS Train. So we'll get started by going over to Environments and click NAS Training CAD. In NAS Train, the mesh is assigned to all parts that are a part of an idealization. So by default, we have one idealization and we can see it's called solid one. Solid one is assigned the generic material. If we were to edit solid one, we'd know that all of the current uh, components are a part of this idealization. We can change this by clicking associated geometry. And here we'll select all the components we want to be a part of this idealization. So in this case, we'll click the mild steel component. We'll come here to change the material from generic to mild steel. Once we've associated the geometry, once we click OK, we can see that we have solid one now assigned the mild steel material property. Now look at what happens when I click generate mesh. You'll notice that only one of the two components has a mesh now assigned to it. Meshes are assigned to all components that are a part of an idealization. So what we're going to have to do is create a new idealization and add the aluminium component to it. To do that, we'll click idealizations, associated geometry, select the aluminium component, and we'll assign a material aluminium 6061 to the idealization and we'll click OK. Now when we click Generate Mesh, we'll see that because both the components are a part of idealizations, they'll both have a mesh generated for them. Then we can go and continue with our analysis. This has been a video on how to assign multiple materials in NASTRAN in CAD.